a timer for your church services. This is the timer I use, cool timer. Whenever I want to time anyone in my church services, I use this for my opening prayer, my praise and worship, my hymn and everything. This is the hymn that is going on right now and this is how I actually started it. I connected it to my Vmix, which you can see over here, counting down. And I also connected it to OBS, as you can see here, counting down. I'm going to show you how to do this in this video using your cool timer as your timer for your church how to add everything over here how to set the duration and everything and if you want to add if you want to give them one more minute you can even give them one more minute how to do all that connecting it to your vmix connecting it to your obs or connecting it to any other tv screens you have in your church so stay tuned in this video and don't forget my name joseph olasukomi and this is extensible Okay, so once you open your queue list, this is what you should see, right? So now you can just press your new for anything and let's just say, okay, opening ING, opening prayer. For the opening prayer, this person doesn't do an opening prayer. We do our opening prayer for 20 minutes. So let me just say 20 minutes. Okay, no, sorry. Let's go back. Don't be idle of yourself. 00, 20 minutes. All right. So it starts from 20 minutes. I don't need to show when to start. Should start warning when it remains, let's say, two minutes. All right. Then should stop. Okay. Duplicate. I'm gonna also duplicate it later, but not now. So we approve of this opening prayer 20 minutes, right? Then I want to make my output. This output here. You should. If you want to, maybe if you have a particular screen, a secondary screen, like a screen on its own. This for the preview. This is what you wanna show. If you want a screen, maybe you have one system particularly for this cool list alone. I want to send it to it. You can just make it your monitor too. When you connect it, you see it over here. But I don't actually have a monitor too. Let me just put escape. I don't have a monitor too, so I'm just gonna make it NDI. So that way it's going to my NDI source, right? Alright, so let's go to our VMix and our OBS and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Then in our VMix, go to your add input. And you should see it in your NDI as usual. Let's go NDI and you should see cool this is still loading. Yes, this is the cool timer. Then once you press OK, this is your cool timer over here. Then let me remove this from the then if you want to start it, just press start. Bam. And it's starting to count down. Then this timer stuff is gonna be going down. Yes. So once it's time yeah, it's going to be blinking, you can just um set it let me just stop this right Boss, restart okay you go to your durations okay let me make it um one minute let me just make it one minute yes so this way and you're gonna start start one when it's remaining 30 seconds yes all right so once you press start you're gonna send it this is over here as fast as it is yes so if you want to add a note saying okay your time is up or uh, bro round up quickly go to edit over here and press the message and just like bro what are you doing that kind of thing you can just put any message i'm just joking just, and then when you show it it's gonna show over here see up top here so the person is gonna see like bro come on you get you know you can just like bleh, 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 bleh. But it's obviously in church, so don't do things like this. Yes. So let me just clear the message, cancel that. And you are seeing it over here. This is its time. Just going, going on, going on, going on. And that is how you do this. So obviously, let me just restart. Restart. All right. So let me just create this. This is uh, for 20 minutes opening prayer. Counter one minute, one in two minutes. Yes. Then duplicate it. Let me duplicate. Copy paste. Let's see. Praise and worship session. Praise and worship. Praise and worship is usually I don't mean, know twenty minutes or so. Yes. So I can do that. Okay. That works. Then paste another one. Let's see. Um, choir. Administration. Don't, don't, don't mind my um, my spelling. Okay, ten minutes. Stop at two. Let me see another one. Maybe that is uh, minister. Minister ministry. Minister ministry for like one hour. So let me just start from here. 
is doing one hour zero 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 and you should start doing because you know that you that I mean it's that you start doing when it's remaining five minutes all right then we can start we want to go down start from this one can start from this one we want to go up start from this one can start from this and that is how you do it so if you notice maybe your minister is ministering right now and it's kind of making sense you want to maybe the pastor so you can give him additional one minute you can give him one more minute plus here right or you can give him one minute we're going to manage it and be like bro it's kind of not a good session and those minus the whole thing i'll be like yeah yeah what two more minutes one more minute so you see that it's, it's now warning when you mean because you, you set it to warning at two minutes right so once it remains two minutes it will change to yellow warning you that bro stop that kind of thing so you can give it a you can give the minister a message that sir please check the time then you show the message and you see that please check the time and person is saying it right so that is how we do this for this okay so let me just stop this first we start all right so that is for your vmix now for your obs is the same thing actually just press plus go to your ndi source then i'm going to name this timer timer right then okay then select your source name q timer gpm then push your okay and you see the value right let me start the timer start all right so this is it over here start the timer can make it bigger yeah or you can just make a picture in picture if you want um the if you want someone just say me my picture or a video the person camera wants it to be here also while the timer is going on somewhere down here but it's not really going to make sense if people are actually seeing this timer so i suggest you do this for your stage screen which the pastor can only see while your pastor preaching will be on the main screen that is why I, uh, I want to use Pro Presenter. But Pro Presenter, you can have your stage screen and you can have your audience screen, which is actually going to be real good, right? Okay, so that is how you do my timer. This is how I do my timer actually. This is the timer over here. This is how I make my timer, which is actually been good to me so far. It's not really, um, it's not really hard to use actually. It's just pretty easy to give it speed to increase more, increase the speed, and minus the minutes, and give it more minutes this insight if you want to start a stopwatch or stuff like that you know different things and you get to know the uh, the software more you actually enjoy it you actually enjoy it and that is that for the quick timer so thank you very much for watching once more you know my name is the classic on if you need and if you have any questions you can comment it on the comments i will feel free to help you as best as i can thank you very much once again my name is the classic on signing out